Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the AIY Projects Do-It-Yourself Kit made by Google. This is $17. I'll have a link in the description below to get this. Let's do the unboxing of this. It comes with the Magpie. <laughs> Magpie. It looks really, really nice. They can definitely afford to spend high quality money on an awesome projects manual. This is awesome. This is great. Then we have the actual box itself that we actually get to build this in. So we have all the components and pieces to actually make the box. We have the, what looks to be the voice module, which is this. Here's the microphone, the speaker, a push button, and it looks like it lights up because there are four connections on it. Then all the necessary cabling, the nut for the switch itself, and all the, and the standoffs to the board and everything. So let's build this bad boy. So this is actually, it is necessary to, to read the manual. <laughs> so just so you're aware. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the door to board on and uh, that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to put the standoffs on here like so. Two, you can see them, Got two standoffs here. You can put the door to board on now. So now you put the, the board on like so. And we push down on this to make sure that the door to board is securely placed on it like so. There you go. Nice little kit in it. It's starting to look like a, a system already. So that's what's, what we're going to do. Then we have uh, the speaker wires. So I said there was soldering, but there isn't any soldering, which is good. I thought there would be, but you know what? They made this for anybody, so it's probably what what are you gonna do now? So is anything listed for positive and negative? Oh, there it is. Okay, so uh, there is a negative and there is a positive on the on the device. Po negative there, the positive here. There we go. It's connected now. Speaker and voice module connected to the Pi. Now remember, I don't have any operating system on the Pi yet. We'll still gotta do all that. So this is just assembling the kit itself. Connect the button cable. So we have this wire here. Okay, and it can only go in one connection because this is a four pin connector. If you notice carefully, there are two headers here. One's a four pin and the other one's a five pin. So we wanna make sure we plug that in properly like so. Okay, we have the wires connected in like that. Take the microphone module out of the packaging. So we have that. So we've already assembled the box partially. We did this part here because that's the next step. So now we're doing the we're doing we're gonna do this one next. Sorry guys, <laughs> this is crazy. This is this this makes organi or, or, organami a whole new meaning. It gives a or, organami a whole new meaning. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Hang on one second. Let me try to get this. It's a little complicated because it is a box. <laughs> it is cardboard. So we're trying to get this to work properly. So. In other words, this is how it's supposed to kind of sort of look. That makes sense. And then the speaker goes in like so. There we go. I believe that's how it should look. Wow, it, it, you know what? I'm sorry if this is not in frame, but this definitely took a genius <laughs> to make this. Holy crap. To make a cardboard box to make it actually fit properly and whatnot. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like a, this is a big mess. So we're going to slide this in, hopefully, carefully. Holy crap, I got it in. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> I can't believe it, I actually got it in. That's crazy. Raspberry Pi should be sitting at the bottom of the box. Make sure that the wires are still connected. Yep, everything is still connected, but it's kind of not sitting properly, but you know what? It'll probably all fall into place once we make some additional, additional adjustments and whatnot, because we have their location for the power and HDMI connections are here. Then the USB and ethernet are here, but you've noticed it's not really sitting right. You know what I mean? It's not all has to sit into place. Then the speaker here and the wires are sticking on the top so we have to com complete this. All right, so now we're gonna do the button. We're gonna pop the button through the hole here, 
put the wire nut on like so now the buttons on okay let's connect the microphone okay that's connected how the wire should be for the button all right so according to the picture we're going to i'm not sure if i can actually show this but i'll show the image of the picture in the bot in the in the book but there are certain there are four connectors here four pin locations because if i hooked it up wrong it won't work at all <laughs> And the red one goes here. There we go. So the switch is now connected. Looks pretty neat. Take the microphone next. Use the two-sided tape to secure the voice hat. Now it's really interesting. I don't have it. There isn't any double-sided tape. Don't see it. Wow. That's the only thing missing from this kit. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't have it. So we're gonna probably have to improvise. All right, so since mine didn't come with any double-sided tape, I actually hot glued it to the back of this cardboard. Now on to the programming of it. Okay, Google, what time is it? The time is 12.50. Okay, Google, what's the speed of light? The speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second in a vacuum. Is that all? If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Creative Labs iRoar. Oh. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. Now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,